What is happening, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, Walter Tuomi, aka Neo Defective, representing Neo Defective Gaming. You can find me over on twitch.tv slash Neo Defective, streaming every Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday night, usually in the AM demon hours. For your viewing pleasure, you can also just find me everywhere, here, there, everywhere, at Neo Defective. News or not news? Surprising, but not surprising. More like, I guess, the timing. It was a matter of when. G4 has just been shut down. G4 TV just got shut down. Uh, pretty much put out there by Wario T64. Pretty much just put out there by Wario 64 and also Deadline. If you couldn't have seen that one coming, then you must have been under a rock. There's so many onion layers to peel here that led to this happening. I feel bad mostly for the content creators that did not contribute to the decline, only to try to uplift and hopefully, you know, they land somewhere safe. There's always kind of funny out there, you guys. I really hope for the sake of them that they land somewhere good. Look, this, this had a host of situations going on. Adam Sessler being kind of wild, you know, let loose off the chain, no cable network to kind of hold him down and his kind of angry rants that tend to go on like, uh, I don't know, wishing death to old Republicans, even if they're his family members, which is kind of crazy to say. I mean, you're literally wishing death upon somebody for having a disagreement or just a, d a different opinion than yours. Um, again, I'm I no biases here. I'm not right and not left. There's no political affiliation that I have that I rely on. I just think I'm a human. I'm the I'm a carbon based life form like everybody else here. There's only one superior race, the human race. All right, guys. So, and then Frost Kieran going on her anti man sentiment, kind of saying things along the lines. I think this is actually probably the number one thing that brought about. Uh, I put a big old spotlight on G4's situation. Specifically, their declining numbers. There's a number of a host of things that just went viral for all the negative reasons. Just real shitty things that have happened. Kevin Pereira leaving. Jessica Chobot's husband leaving. A number of of people just kind of up and leaving. It was just writing on the wall, man. It was, it was in the tea leaves, per se. It wasn't even like you had to look close. You just saw it before you. You just saw it happening right before your eyes. There's really nothing more to, to go on with that. One of the, the things that I wanted to point out, though, is you have somebody like the completionist, which it sucks, right? Like, it sucks when everybody just gets laid off and there's really no way to just pull everybody into a meeting and say, I don't know, hey guys, everybody's getting laid off today, we're closing down shop. Instead, they go, hey, here's a tweet, everybody's fired. And in that case, that's the completionist saying, hey, this tweet is how I found out how I lost my job. How neat. I can't imagine how many other of the content creators also fall into that category. And I hate to say content creators because I just learned that that's the word that's just typically used so that everybody has to do every task. You're not put into one role. And it's kind of a shitty, it's kind of a shitty job title. It's kind of a shitty job title. But that's the news, guys. If you didn't hear it from Deadline or Wario 64 first, well, you're hearing it now. Uh, also, Kevin Pereira saying, he knew that this was also coming, and he feels bad for everybody involved. Again, please show sympathies for some of the people out there that are having to reel back from losing their job from G4. Even though everybody saw it coming, it's kind of like, hey, man, you, you, you hate to see it. You know, Hopefully they land somewhere sweet. All right, guys, if you've been here before, you know what it is. Stay dirty, humans. Hey.